space, that vast realm full of more mysteries than certainties, constantly taunting those researchers who peer through telescope lenses at the immeasurable emptiness that lies beyond our atmosphere. Although new discoveries are constantly being made thanks to the constantly improving technology that we have at our disposal, these discoveries do not always provide us with exact answers about space. In fact, frequently a new discovery means uncovering even more mysterious and unanswerable questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting space discoveries. Scientists astonished as Monster Star mysteriously disappears On top of realising that the V471's brown star orbiting companion may never have existed, scientists are shocked to discover a monster star has disappeared without a trace. More than 70 million light-years away, a star in the Kinman Dwarf Galaxy can no longer be seen by scientists. They are now offering explanations as to what may have happened. First, scientists believe that the star may have decreased in brightness and is now being partially blocked by dust. The second explanation, and undoubtedly the more incredible one, is that the star collapsed into a black hole without ever exploding as a bright supernova. If the second explanation occurred, this would be the first ever detection of that kind of star's end, as stars ending are usually large spectacles that produce a bright supernova explosion. The missing star has never been seen by astronomers due to how far away it is, but they confirmed its existence by examining data that revealed its chemical signature. From 2001 to 2011, scientists were able to find evidence that this blue variable star was roughly 2.5 million times brighter than Earth's Sun. However, in 2019, when Andrew Allen and his team of colleagues were hoping to use the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope to investigate the star, its signature had disappeared. As Professor Jose Gro of Trinity College Dublin poignantly stated, we may have detected one of the most massive stars of the local universe going gently into the night. To attempt to explain this mystery, researchers looked back at their previous observations of the star and found that it had been showing outbursts between 2002 and 2009, when a tremendous amount of star material was released at a faster rate than expected. The researchers say that outbursts can happen in a star's old age and could explain why the star was so bright when it was being observed in the early years. Although this is a mystery that scientists were certainly not expecting, they are not giving up hope in the search to find an answer. Researchers have said that more studies are needed to understand what occurred as whatever happened could change the current understanding of how massive stars end. There is a huge void near our galaxy. One fact about the cosmic world might be surprising. Galaxies are unevenly clustered around the universe, clumping together at random. Despite the assumption of some, one galaxy does not begin when another one ends. Instead, they are spread all throughout. We are part of something dubbed the Local Group, which consists of our very own Milky Way and the nearby Andromeda Galaxy, with a cluster of tiny dwarf galaxies surrounding us. It is close to the Milky Way that the Local Void resides. The Local Void is a structure in our cosmic neighborhood, so to speak, that contains nearly no galaxies proper dwarf or otherwise. The Milky Way borders the void directly. Our galaxy, however, is moving further away from the void at about 260 km per second. This is a result of the fact that matter attracts matter. This is also the reason as to why such voids exist. Because of the way gravity works, matter clumps together, thus leaving chunks of space completely devoid of anything at all. These voids, thus, only increase in their size as time goes on and more matter compacts together. Nothingness in space is significantly more common than galaxies or stars or planets. The Cosmic Flows 3 chart depicts over 17,000 galaxies near our Milky Way and it also depicts the Cosmic Void, 
The point of the cosmic flow is to showcase an accurate compendium of our observable nearby universe. The space voids are an incredibly interesting subject because learning more about them could help us better understand dark matter and how it works. Unfortunately, it is a Herculean task to try and study the local void as it resides right behind the central Milky Way, meaning seeing into it is virtually impossible as of right now. Scientists will have to find an alternative way to study the void other than visually searching for it. Researchers did, however, find a way to trace the dwarf galaxies nearby when it comes to monitoring the void. They found that the nearest dwarf galaxy to the void travels at a shocking 350 km per second. This speed suggests that the size of the void must be immense for the faster something travels away from the void, the weaker its gravity, thus the larger it must be. The knowledge that we live merely 150 million light-years away from this enormous empty void might sound frightening for some, but fortunately there is absolutely no risk of us getting sucked into it. It is not a black hole, it is simply an area of space that lacks matter. In a handful of centuries, we will be much further away from it. Scientists are using the moon as a giant mirror to search for aliens. The hunt for aliens has a new development, as the moon has been employed as a mirror in the search for a planet that could be home to life. The Hubble Space Telescope has been able to photograph and record the light that reflected off of the moon after it had travelled through the Earth's atmosphere. NASA's aims to study this reflection and look for characteristics that come from the Earth's atmosphere, as we know Earth is, of course, a habitable planet. By comparing this reflection to other planets' reflections, we may be able to determine if the same features, characteristics and chemical combinations are present in other atmospheres. These atmospheres then have the potential to be habitable. This should indicate to scientists which exoplanets warrant further research as to whether or not they contain alien life. When searching for extraterrestrial life, scientists have begun to limit the search to Earth-like exoplanets, meaning planets that are similar to our own in regard to size, temperature and distance from the host star and the rocky surface. Whilst it is still difficult to differentiate between exoplanets with rough atmospheres or those that may be habitable, the new moon mirror technique may aid this research. The study published in the Astronomical Journal by Youngblood details this development in astrophysics. Here, the unique characteristics that are being looked for elsewhere are referred to as the chemical signature. The research team measured the ozone in the Earth's atmosphere. Similar levels in exoplanets exhibiting a close chemical signature to our own could suggest a planet that has plenty of oxygen and has a UV protectant atmosphere like our own Earth. Both of these components could indicate life. Carbon dioxide confirmed on the Moon We are always looking for gases and compounds on other planets that resemble what we see on Earth. While we have heard many whispers of water on Mars that could indicate life, one lesser heard conversation is that of carbon dioxide on the Moon. Though after decades of theorizing and questioning, it seems as though we might have an answer. Researchers as of November 2021 seem to have found lunar carbon dioxide cold traps that could have solid carbon dioxide components. Some areas of our moon are constantly shadowed, shrouded in darkness with little impact from the sun in these areas. The temperatures can drop lower than those of Pluto. With such staggeringly low temperatures, cold traps are able to form. Cold traps are areas so cold that volatile substances can freeze and become solid. So why does it really make a difference if the CO2 is solid or not? If the carbon dioxide is solid, this means that it can be used to prolong lunar research. In the future when we send explorers up, whether they are human or robotic, this solid carbon dioxide can provide the necessary materials for fuel and materials for longer expeditions. Furthermore, increasing our understanding of how volatile substances interact on the Moon could help us with research into how water, amongst other elements and compounds, form and may appear on the Moon. Despite this new research confirming the existence of and mapping out the areas for carbon dioxide cold traps, 
The idea of cold traps has been included in discussions and predictions by planetary scientists for years. To begin confirming these theories and suggestions, researchers used 11 years' worth of temperature data from the Diviner Lunar Radiometer Experiment, a high-tech piece of equipment aboard NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The 2021 research published in the AGU Journal Geophysical Research Letters shows that a number of the cold traps are focused on the lunar south pole. They span 204 square kilometers. The most concentrated area is in the Amundsen Crater, which is home to 84 square kilometers of cold traps. Here, the temperatures never seem to exceed 60 degrees Kelvin, which is about minus 352 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the exciting and promising aspects of this discovery, it is important to remember that just because there are cold traps on the Moon does not mean that there are solid forms of carbon dioxide, just that there could potentially be. Norbert Schorkhofer, a planetary scientist at the Planetary Science Institute and the lead author of this study, said, My surprise was that the cold traps are actually definitely there. There are plenty of missions to track down aspects of research that go by unsuccessfully, with years of more studying before being able to confirm any of the theories at all. This research continues to be highly promising. While at the moment all we can confirm is the existence of cold traps, it will not be long before these discoveries have much greater, more practical applications, from rocket fuel to finding water. Galaxy is missing all of its dark matter, and scientists cannot explain it. Current theories predict that sparse galaxies simply must be held together by dark matter, as there are no other explanations as to their internal structure if this is not the case. Therefore, when astronomers found a distant galaxy that appears to contain not a single trace of dark matter, existing dark matter theories were thrown into chaos. The galaxy is called AGC 114905 and sits roughly 250 million light-years away from Earth. It is almost as large as the Milky Way in size, however, contains roughly a thousand times fewer stars than our own galaxy. Being so sparsely populated with stars, it begs the question what else makes up this galaxy to hold it together. Scientists have had to rule out dark matter, which supposedly makes up 85% of all matter in the universe, after measuring the galaxy with the very large array and finding no traces of dark matter present. A fluke, you say? The research team coordinating the study found the results odd, and even after repeating data collections and spending 40 hours measuring the galaxy with one of the world's strongest radio telescopes, results kept coming in negative for dark matter. While the research team is pleased that their results have been consistent all along, it does disprove previous theories that similarly sparse galaxies were held together by dark matter. In fact, they later went on to say that the difference between theory and observation is only getting bigger. Their studying of this particular galaxy was no accident. Previous glances at AGC 114905 suggested it lacked the expected dark matter, and it is not the first evidence that similar galaxies with absolutely no dark matter do exist. In 2018, a team of Yale astronomers found a different galaxy, which presented the same composition profile, causing its own confusion back in the day. However, the techniques and methods used in this recent study are more robust and reliable, and thus now call the dark matter theory into serious question. How will scientists explain these findings? It will be interesting to see. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.